Welcome to Vet Talk, man. This is your boy, Brother Vince, man. Right now, man, I want to read to y'all Satanists something. All of y'all out there who doing the suit saying, you witches, you warlocks, all of y'all out there who worshiping Satan, I want to read a little message to y'all, man, which could be found in Revelations 20 and 7. Revelation 20 and 7. Revelation 20 and 7. Take that back to Satan. Make sure you let him know that I'm reading to you Revelations 20 and 7. He knows what it is. He knows what the word says. And it says in Revelations 20 verse 7, when the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out and deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth. Gog and my God, to gather them for battle. In numbers, they are like the sands of the seashore, they march across the breadth of the earth and surround the camps of God's people, the city he loves. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beasts and the froth prophets have been thrown. They will be tormented night and day for ever and ever. That's his death sentence. It's already been set in stone because as the Bible said, it has been written. So when it comes to this battle and this war, it's not ours, it's the Lord's. We've already won the battle. It's just that his believers, those who believe in him, got to take their rightful stand and understand that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Or is Boris. So whatever witchcraft, whatever thing you send and whatever you try to send our way, the fire of God, the wrath of God have come down upon you. It will confuse your meeting. It will confuse you in your meetings. It will bind you up. It will cause you to lose your mind. And there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to me. There's nothing you can do to God's people because the blood of the lamb, because of Jesus Christ, we're not fighting his battle. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We have the victory. We used to sing that song at church, victory is mine. Well, no, Christian, victory is yours if you choose to walk in Christ. You live outside of him. You're going to go down with the devil. It's time to get it right. Let's fight.